I have with me Dr. K. Radhakrishnan, Chairman of the Indian Space Research Organization. Dr. Radhakrishnan, an important milestone, a landmark day. Are you proud of it? It's a landmark day for the country. It's a landmark day for ISRO. Our PSLV, in its 25th flight, successfully and precisely orbited the Mars orbiter spacecraft around the Earth. And the journey for an interplanetary probe now starts. This mission is very complex. It has a long journey around the Earth, then it goes on to Mars. There's a long journey there. Which of them do you fear the most? It's not we fear. It's a complex mission, and we need to be prepared. First and foremost, we have to raise the orbit around the Earth. That part we have done in the past. But there is a crucial trans-Martian injection scheduled in the early hours of December 1st, where we need to precisely give the velocity required for the Mars orbiter to reach the vicinity of Mars. And that position we should be able to determine nearly 280 days in advance. With the precision, we should say it is 500 kilometers plus minus 50 kilometers. This particular mission you have completed in 15 months, the making of the satellite. It was fast-tracked. Many say it was fast-tracked because we wanted to beat China to go to that orbit of Mars. Were we driven by this desire to beat China? We were driven by the fact that such opportunities for an orbiter mission to Mars comes only once in 26 months. And we wanted to avail the first opportunity that is November 2030. We are not in race with anybody. We are in race with ourselves. This particular mission cost 450 crores. There are critics who say India doesn't have toilets. India doesn't have enough is not lifting people out of poverty. Do you think this 450 crores was an appropriate investment? See, science and technology are essential for the development of any country. And if you look at the history of Indian space program over the last five decades, we have shown to the world, we have shown to the country that space in India touches the life of every human being through the communication satellites, through the remote sensing satellites, for several applications, including disaster management support. What we are doing today is, of course, an experiment for planetary exploration, but it pays way for advancements in satellite technology that would feed into the application satellite technology development program of the country. This particular mission is the first interplanetary mission which India is undertaking. True. I'm sure this will not be the last. What are the other things you are planning in the next several months or years. In lunar and planetary exploration area, our agenda is very clear. Moon, Mars, and Sun. We had Chandrayaan 1, and we are having a Chandrayaan 2 program with Indian lander and Indian rover. If this Mars orbiter mission is successful, and which we would know by September 2014, then we should plan for the next opportunities in 2016 or 2018 or 2020 with a good scientific mission and probably with partnerships. In, in the American Space Agency, NASA, the Jet, Jet Propulsion Laboratory, sent some peanuts for this mission. I know that you people, all of you work on salaries which are equivalent to buying peanuts. What is this message you can give to the world? It is the low-cost mission to the world. Absolutely, if you take any interplanetary mission, what we have done here is considered a low-cost mission. There are several reasons. In India, we believe in a modular approach. If you look at the PSLV, it was a proven vehicle used for several applications. What we did, we used that PSLV itself and designed a new trajectory. And we had a flight of 43 minutes. It was specifically designed for this application. If you look at the satellite, the satellite bus that we used in this mission has its heritage from Chandrayaan, from the other remote sensing satellites. So all those developments that we have done in the past have been the foundation on which we have built this mission during the last 
15 months. Are you happy with the mission so far? And is the community in ISRO happy with what has happened today? The entire ISRO team is happy, satisfied with what has gone. But the challenge is in orbiting the spacecraft around Mars. And we have a long way to go till 2014.